New Buddha Way Dhamma Talks. Jeff Hunt presents a talk on some aspect of the Buddha's teaching. So then we have the walking meditation. Now you might think now getting up, right, take a break, have a look what other people are wearing. Oh, I don't like his jeans. Oh, where did Chita buy those jeans from? Right, well, it's not that. As you're getting up, you're still paying attention to your bodily sensations, the sensations of getting up. Then you're doing walking meditation. It's more of the same. Because now the mind, instead of on the breathing, is now shifted to the left foot. Now how do you get your mind to do that? Well, sometimes you've got to just encourage your mind. You've got to push it a little bit. It's like, you know, bringing up your pets or your children. Or sometimes, you know, you want to be kind, but you've got to give them a bit of a shove. So it's not me giving you a shove. It's you giving you a shove, right? So it's you saying, how do I get my mind to stay with my feet? I don't know whether you've noticed this, but your foot has got several parts. The heel, the sole, a ball there, and toes there, right? Now your center of gravity moves through that plane. So it moves from your heel to your sole, to your ball, to your toes. That's the movement you're watching. So to make it a bit simpler for yourself, at the beginning, you could use some words. You could say, heel, sole. The big thing that's happening is that your right foot's moving. So you could say then moving, right? Heel, sole, moving. Now ball. Toes moving. Now, I don't recommend you do this all the time. It's just a way of getting your mind initially to stay with the foot because it's not going to want to do that because it's never thought of doing that. They can't see any point in doing that. And indeed, there is no point in doing that. Except for one, a big one. You're training your mind to do what you tell it and you're teaching it to be more tranquil. So, look, heel. So, moving, ball, toe, moving, heel, so, moving, ball, toe, moving. Sometimes we have to use expedience. By an expedient we mean something that isn't really what you should be doing, but it's a good step on the way. So. You don't really want to generate words and thoughts in your mind, because that's what we're trying to let go of. But in this case, an expedient is to use the words to get the mind to settle in the motion of the foot. Once you've got that, you don't need to say the words anymore. But sometimes we have to tell it what to do. Heel, sole, ball, toe. And after a while, it's got it. So then the mind is just resting in those sensations, because it's not about the words. It's the sensation there, 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 the actual, ongoing, real life, real time sensation. We like that word real time now. It's used a lot in relation to computers, isn't it? You're either sort of offline and it's not, that's not the time that you're in, or it's the actual time that you're in. So when you're watching TV and the news comes up and you see that little thing in the corner says live? What's that telling you? It's telling you that this man is actually saying this right now. Well, it's a bit like that with mindfulness. It's real time. So I'm not thinking about my foot, which is like a reflection of the actual moving of the foot. Thinking is a reflection. So it's the actual real time, real life, ongoing, sensations as they're changing in your foot. Now there is a point in doing this and it has to do with developing the self-awareness and therefore the self-understanding and therefore the release from the misery we create for ourselves. So that's why we do the walking meditation. New Buddha Way lets go of east and west and starts afresh in the life we have now. For more information, visit www.newbuddhaway.org.